hey what's up guys i'm lan here welcome back to a new video on my channel in this video i'm going to talk about ios 16.4 update on my iphone 13 so as you can see this is an iphone 13 and yesterday night i have received ios 16.4 update as you can see from the screenshot itself it came in about 1.9 gigabyte on my iphone so i was running ios 16.3.1 and from that now we have ios 16.4 in this video we're going to talk about all the new feature that comes with ios 16.4 and also i have my iphone 10r over here so i just want to discuss something interesting that happened last week we all know that last week we had ios 16.4 release candidate that means the rc so we're going to talk about that a little bit and what new came into the picture so make sure you watch this video till the end but before that let's get right into the video and talk about all the things right but if you are interested you know watching this kind of videos give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel this gives me a lot of motivation to make more of this kind of videos for you guys now with that being said let's get right into the video all right guys so the first things first if i go to the settings and if i go to the general and about section so as you can see the first change is of course in the ios version so as you can see it says ios 16.4 now if you tap on it the new build number is 20e247 so now i was saying initially in the video last week we had ios 16.4 release candidate right so if i show you the release candidate version so as you can see the release candidate version here it's mentioned 20e246 so it's exactly not the same version although i couldn't find any new changes with this ios 16.4 stable release the fact is that when i checked this morning about the software updates on my iphone 10r there was a new update of ios 16.4 that came in about 5.6 you know, gigabyte things like that so at the moment it is just checking for the update as you can see so it is came in about 5.06 gb so if i just click on download and install i'm just gonna put my passcode over here and once i put my passcode over here it is just going to try and prepare the update and then it will update to the latest version which is basically the final build of ios 16.4 now let's talk about one by one what are the new features so i had shown you the screenshot here as well right from the screenshot it is evident that this update introduces 21 new emojis you know and other enhancement so in the screen i'll just probably give you the 21 new emojis these are the emojis that actually you can use while you are using imessage or other messaging services now one more thing is that we also have a new modem firmware update at least with iphone 13 and i'm guessing that it will be with all the iphones if you're coming from ios 16.3.1 so let me show you i had taken a screenshot before updating as you can see the modem firmware was 2.40.01 and after updating as you can see the modem firmware has been updated to 2.55.01 so that means if you had any network issues or connectivity related issues those issues should be fixed with you know ios 16.4 update and one more interesting thing i have noticed is that if i go to the cellular and then click on cellular data options now we have 5g auto and 5g on this was a you know regular thing but at least with my iphone 13 with vodafone especially now i am able to see 5g auto and 5g on option and in some countries there will be a 5g standalone mode which apple has introduced with ios 16.4 i just wanted to let you know that apart from that there are multiple changes so if i go to the general and click on the software update now the first change is apart from automatic updates you can see that there is one more section which says beta updates so going forward you don't have to you know install the beta profiles if your email id is registered with apple developers or the public beta program then you should be able to automatically receive the updates if you go to the beta updates and make sure it is set to ios 16 public beta or developers beta so that's a new thing now within the settings here in the general there will be a new section which says coverage right so the coverage option was there with even ios 16.3.1 but the new thing is that now you get to see the image of all the devices or the list of devices that are been connected to your devices so for example as you can see it of course displays the iphone 13 and then my apple watch then airpods pro and i also used one of my friends airpods so all this list of these devices along with the updated image would be shown here you know also the coverage details as you expected would be listed here 
So the next thing is that there are multiple changes in the settings, right? So before I talk about the settings, there is one more uh, thing that I wanted to talk about. So that is new with iOS 16.4. So if you just call any number and you can see that this mic mode standard and all this thing is now available, right? Standard voice isolation and void spectrum. So this was only available with before with only with your FaceTime, but now it is also available with your regular calls. So, you know, with regular calls, you would be able to select between the wide spectrum or the voice isolation or the standard mode. So this is the new thing that has been introduced with iOS 16.4. Now talking about the other changes, as you can see, there is this Apple Books application. So if you have been reading books on Apple Books application, so now you have the page turn animation, right? So you just have to click here and then you have to click on themes and settings and there is this new option if you click here you would be able to see the you know page turn animation so it is right now set to slide this curl you can set it to curl so you know while turning the pages of a book you can see that you know it feels like a real book and you can turn the pages and even you know you can change the settings and the looks how the page would be turned from slide curl and none and the same you can do from settings apple books application as well i just wanted to let you know that this is a new edition that they have again updated with ios 16.4 now apart from that there are few changes in the settings within the accessibility settings here so if i go to the accessibility and voiceover now voiceover is supported in weather and you know maps application as well now here there is one more option if you go to the motion settings and there is a new option which says dim flashing lights so if you turn this on and if you are sensitive to the flashing light and you know uh, you have a habit of watching the videos wherein you have uh, too much of flashing light if you have this option turned on then it would sort of dim those flashing lights if you're watching it on your phone so these are the new things with accessibility now one more new thing i have noticed if you go to the emergency sos and if you see this call quietly option it was there before and it is also there now but the wording has been changed so you know the warning alarms flashes and voice over audio will be silenced so these kind of wordings has been updated from ios 16.3.1 to iOS 16.4. Apart from that, you know, if you talk about, you know, sound and settings, so let me go to the sound and haptics. You can see that this personalized special audio option, this has been moved from AirPods option or AirPods Pro option to here. Earlier when you used to connect your AirPods Pro within the AirPods Pro menu, you used to get this option. Now that has been moved from there and it has been added to sounds and haptics so now you can control and set up your personalized special audio from the sounds and haptics option so this is a new change apart from this there are a couple of changes here and there as well and i have talked about most of the changes over here and you know i 16.4 is an important update and as you would have probably guessed it right that this update came in about around 2 gigabytes on my iphone 13 and probably the similar size on different iphones as well you know not only this update would provide you kind of new features and the new emojis this update is also important from the security standpoint as well so in terms of security you know apple has fixed a lot of bugs and patched a lot of security and vulnerabilities so definitely if you are on a previous ios like ios 16.3 or ios 16.3.1 definitely you should update to ios 16.4 so with the help of this video i just wanted to let you know that you know we all received update for ios 16.4 and probably the issues that we were facing the you know animation lag swipe home lag and things like that and even if you had any issues earlier with you know the network connectivity related stuff those should be fixed with the new modem for update this weekend i will talk about the battery life and performance if you want to know more about the battery life and performance if i just tap on it as you can see the battery health is right now 97 percent and if i show you the last 10 days this has been my screen on and screen off time but i'll talk about the battery life and the performance in coming few days since i've just updated my device few hours back now, if you are someone who is interested in the Geekbench score, I've just ramped the Geekbench score. As you can see with iOS 16.4 update, my single core score came in about 1738 and the multi core score came in about 4551. So then again, as I said before, I will talk more about the battery life and performance in the coming few days. 
probably during the Saturday and Sunday. I will dedicately make a video on battery life and performance settings or the improvements on iOS 16.4 with iPhone 13. Let me know that in the comment section whether you are interested to watch that video. And then again, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel. And that would be really awesome. And I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye.